So here we are thinking through our first explore activity of our Big Bang unit using our Big Bang study guide. If you don't yet have the screen sheet, make sure you find it on Schoology Big Bang study guide. This is really what we're gonna use to put together all of our big ideas um, from our different activities in class. So it starts out with our unit question here. What evidence is there to explain where the universe came from? So we maybe already have a little bit of an idea in our mind about what the early universe was like, um, its characteristics, but here we really wanna focus on, well, how do we know that? What evidence exists today that can clue me in to what things looked like before? Because we don't have any human account of what it was like before. So we have to take our data from today and use that to gather, well, our ideas, our theories. So we're pulling together some information about our activity with the rubber band, stretch of imagination. So this is our rubber band activity where I gave you, I'm gonna jump over to it real quick. I gave you a rubber band and I asked you to mark several locations on your rubber band um, as if they were galaxies, right? We had our Milky Way galaxy here labeled with X and then we had five galaxies kind of put at random order along the ruler, right? Nothing consistent necessarily. A centimeter here, a centimeter and a half, two and a half here. You know, just like galaxies are out there in space. No particular pattern um, initially. And what we did is we compared, well, what happens to those galaxies or what are we noticing about those galaxies as we stretch the rubber band. And as we stretched the rubber band, we started to notice that, of course, the galaxies moved with the stretch. And as they moved, we started to see the distances that they were moving increase over time. Um, I'm going to put my picture in here so we can kind of see the two rubber bands. So what we're seeing here is image number one is showing our unstretched rubber band. Image number two is showing our stretched rubber band. So what we're noticing is that, for example, with galaxy one, it started here at the one centimeter mark, where here it ended at the two centimeter mark. So it moved about one inch on the graph, or on the rubber band, whereas here, our number five started out at about seven and a half centimeters here, and now ended up down at 14 and a half centimeters. So as that rubber band stretched, those galaxies moved further and further apart. So as we think about our green study guide, that's one big information we wanted to be able to recognize after this activity that our evidence is in fact looking at these galaxies. And over time, those galaxies are moving apart or away from each other. The space between them is increasing. So our first big idea from the rubber band activity is recognizing that with our stretching of our universe, the galaxy space in between all of them is increasing. And we added a, a idea to that, not only graphing our distance that the galaxies have moved, but also the average speed of those galaxies. And this is something that Edwin Hubble investigated um, once he discovered that the Milky Way wasn't the only galaxy, he started wondering, well, what's going on with them? And as he recorded data about these galaxies, he noticed, well, the farther away they were from the observer in the Milky Way, the faster those galaxies seemed to move 
or recede was what we talked about. So looking at our graph, we're seeing that exact thing. The, the, the farther those galaxies have moved, the faster of a rate they're moving at. So back to our study guide, idea number two. As the distance of the galaxy increases, its speed also increases. And I want you to make sure that you make a little note that that can be seen on our graph in our assignment. So when we go back to our stretch of imagination, our rubber band assignment, this data, this piece of information is coming from the graph. And that is known as Hubble's law. That idea that galaxies are moving away, and as they move away, the farther they are, the faster we see them recede. So we're going to hear that phrase a couple times in Hubble's Law. That's a big part of our evidence. So we're knowing, here's our rubber band, right, with our various galaxies spread across here. We said, all right, if this... If these galaxies are in fact moving further and further away, well, what must be happening to the universe around us? Well, as we see the space in between those galaxies get bigger, we're assuming then that the universe itself is also expanding. And that's part of the current knowledge of the universe. However, we want to know, well, what clues does this give me about the past? So when I hit the rewind button or reverse on my model, what am I noticing now with the space between my galaxies? So as I rewind, knowing that things are getting further and further away, well, they had to be closer together at some point. Closer together, closer together. And as I hit rewind and kind of observe back in time, I'm now recognizing that the space in between my galaxies has decreased. When I hit reverse on my model, I'm now recognizing space has decreased, telling me that initially everything had to be closer together. And again, as I continue to reverse my thinking, now I'm seeing that things are closer together, they're starting to stack up, and essentially showing them compacted together in a much different view than we see now. So our kind of last big idea wants to recognize that when we reverse that model, what we're seeing is the space between the galaxies get smaller, not increase or decrease. And doing so really condenses the galaxies into that one location. So we did the activity, we collected the data, the data showed us what was happening with the galaxies, and we used well, what we're seeing now to get some information about what it may have like been before. So you should have a couple key pieces of information here in your Explore 1 debrief. As always, make sure you reach out with any questions.